Hello children, you must have seen people in arm wrestling matches. For some, it's a fun activity, while for others, it's a battle of strength. Many a times, both of them apply lots of force, but the arms doesn't move an inch. Why? What happened to all the force? Same thing happens in tug of war sometimes. Two teams pull with all their might but none of the team moves an inch why because both of the team apply same amount of force in both the cases the two forces are same in magnitude but opposite in direction so they cancel each other now say in tug of war one team is stronger so it applied more strength than the other team. That team would obviously win. Say, the left hand side team applied 450 Newton of force and the other team, that is the right hand side team applied 390 Newton force. Here also, the two forces are acting in opposite direction. But, the magnitude is different. The net force is determined by subtracting the smaller force from the larger one. So in this case, the net force is 450 Newton minus 390 Newton. That is 60 Newton in the direction of the team on the left side. So the smaller force cannot neutralize the bigger force entirely. Hence, the bigger force causes some movement. You know, if the two individual forces are of equal magnitude and opposite direction, then the forces are said to be balanced. So, balanced forces cancel each other out and do not change the state of rest or motion of an object. This, in simple words, means if a body is moving, it will continue to move with the same speed and in the same direction. If body is at rest, it will continue to be in the state of rest and there will be no change. Whereas unbalanced force occurs when two opposite forces acting on an object are not equal in magnitude. Unbalanced forces causes a still object to move or moving objects to slow down or speed up, stop or change direction. Suppose you are pushing a wall and you apply a lot of force. Still neither the wall moves nor do you. Why is it so? It means that you and the wall are exerting forces that are equal in magnitude but in opposite direction. Or you can say you and the wall are applying balanced force on each other, right? So now you know what are balanced and unbalanced forces and these can explain many phenomena that we shall see in the next class.